It is just over five months since the Entebbe airport was closed to all passenger flights as a measure to prevent the spread of COVID-19. The only passenger flights that have been allowed in over the last couple of months have been those carrying Ugandans repatriated from abroad. As government continues to ease restrictions, the aviation sector is looking forward to getting back to business while sticking to the new COVID-19 prevention guidelines. Now, the Civil Aviation Authority has benefited from a boost of about 800 million shillings worth of equipment from the United Nations and the International Organization for Migration as it looks towards reopening Entebbe International Airport. It is a great pleasure for me to witness the handover of COVID-19 safety equipment by the International Organization for Migration, IOM. The equipment include automated sanitizing machines, infrared temperature thermometers, and personal protective equipment for the airport staff. One of the automated machines that have been installed here at Entebbe International Airport, and as you can see, it has an automated thermal scanner, and after it scans your temperature, you proceed to this place where it also automatically sprays your body. The Civil Aviation Authority says the equipment will help airport authorities combat the spread of COVID-19 among passengers. This equipment donated by International Organization for Migration will go a long way in ensuring safety of passengers and frontline airport staff to which we highly appreciate this gesture. The United Nations Resident Coordinator Rosa Marango says Uganda has lost billions in the lockdown, a lot of it due to the disruption of the tourism sector. That our current estimate is that as much as 5 billion US dollars would be lost in the tourism sector alone during the next five years if we do not take action. The UN and the International Organization for Migration says Uganda's economic recovery will call for both public and private efforts. I am confident that together we can build back better. And we know that this support will not address those needs. But we believe that doing something is better than nothing. By doing something little, together we can beat COVID. Civil Aviation Authority also revealed that preparations to have the airport reopened have been completed and all that is left is the President's directive allowing the resumption of the flights. The fact that we have handled the evacuation and repatriation of flights successfully is a sign that the airport is ready to handle commercial passenger operations. But the reopening is planned to be done in a phased manner. The Civil Aviation Authority has tentatively set October 1st as the date for beginning a phased resumption of passenger flights. Hey, Kamana Ivan Walnyolo. NTV.